Okay. This is journal project 14. Okay, first thing you're going to need, obviously you need your journal. You're going to need paint, um, a pencil, uh, your paintbrush, a couple paintbrushes maybe, I don't know. Okay, a few paintbrushes, some paintbrushes. Um, and you're going to need to go to your stencils. Stencils, it says stencils. And you're going to need number 14 which is a heart, okay? So I've already pulled mine out here. Set that up to the side, okay. And your drop cloth, obviously, I keep telling you that, but we obviously need our drop cloth, so I'm gonna put my leaves away. So I forgot to do that. All right. Um, okay, first thing you're gonna do, is open your journal. Okay, hold on. my page sorry <laughs> all right really is this my page no no man okay all right all right so the first thing you're gonna do is all right I'm gonna go to this page right here whoops all right now, I'm going to draw four hearts. Okay? Let's do that. Let's draw four hearts. One. Oh, I gotta put that one up a little higher. Yeah, I think I am. I don't like the way I put that. Sorry about that. I don't gonna erase this. That's why we do things in pencil, too. That way we can move it. Oh, I don't like that in my paint. All right, I'm going to pull this up a little bit higher. Okay. Can you see that okay? I think you can. All right. It's really hard. I'm going to move it upside down. Okay. One. Two. Three, oops, four. Okay, so I got my four hearts. Okay, so I got my four hearts. I'm also gonna put these pages underneath here because I'm gonna paint. And again, probably gonna have to pull these down. All right. Down. Now, <laughs> all right. Okay, so that takes care of that. Um, okay, what am I going to do next? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black pencil. Is this my black one? Nope. <laughs> Um, I'm going to take my black pencil and I'm going to outline this, these hearts, okay, so that I don't actually lose my heart. I'm tearing a hole in my favor. Okay. I can see these a little better. Okay, so now you're going to take these for hearts and you're going to paint whatever you want in them. Okay, so I've already done two pages of these and I'll show you what I did. But um, basically, I'm going to. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. 
just going to start painting. Let's see what happens here. See what I get. Let's try a little bit of green. Now you want to be careful with what colors you put on top because you can end up with a muddy mess and that you don't want to do. You're going to know. But like I said, that's what these journals are for. These journals are for, I to clean my brush. I keep, a, I keep a cup of water here. Okay, so I want to clean my brush off. Okay, you can do that too. Um, like I said, these journals are for just practicing, not to produce great works of art. So who cares if something gets mixed kind of funky? Ah, then you'll know. You won't do that again, or you may do that again. I don't know. All right, so let's see here. I dab a little bit of orange. Oh, see, look at that. <laughs> I need to clean my brush. All right. So these drop cloths are paper. Honestly, you can wipe your brush, dry it off on there, or get an extra paper towel or something. And do it that way. I don't know. All right, I don't like that. So let's put some red in there. Let's get that. Oh. All right. Uh, I think I'll just get a little bit of yellow. All right. Um. So I pretty much did just something very abstract here. Half of it's cool, half of it's warm. A little bit of warm spilling in. Okay, so anyway, I think I'm gonna leave it like that, kinda like that. And then, clean my brush again. Let's see, what am I gonna do? I don't know. Ah, oh, I know. How about if we go red? Orange. Uh, dear. Let's clean this off a little bit because my yellow is not going to come out right. Yellow. Green. A little off center here. Green. Blue. I'll come down here with my blue. And my blue. Blue. Okay. So indigo is a color. We don't really look at it. I always leave it out. I don't know why it's left out. Let's see if I can put a little bit. Let's see if I can get some of it in here. I don't know, a little purpley blue here. Okay, now I got a little bit of it. And then violet. All right, so I kind of got a rainbow heart here going. Okay, so this is one, one of them. All right, all right, ignore that, because we're gonna get rid of that anyway. All right, so there's, anyway, you're gonna keep going. You're gonna do all four. Um, but you know what, maybe I'll just do this one. Bring this one up. All right, I'm 
let's see here. All right, so let's see. What do I do now inside there? Let's do this. I did a little bit of flowers in there. I don't know. If, if I, you know, I probably would do the round here, maybe light blue. I think I'm just going to leave it though. And then this one. I don't know what to do with this one. <sighs> Let's just do this. Okay, just to finish this off. Let me just put something in here. I'm gonna back this up in here. Alright. Alright. I keep saying alright. I know, that's kind of weird. Um do ah something like this okay well anyway four designs okay so then what I would normally do in the background is I'm gonna outline those I will outline these in black I'm just going to come across here very carefully. Ugh. Obviously, you don't want to do that. Well, what? Okay, so I would probably dry some of these. I would outline all of my all of my hearts and then what I would do is on this background I 
to paint this background white or whatever color you want to do. I would just do white and I would wait until this is dry because I don't want it to turn gray. But you're just going to come in, cut your brush and I oh, don't see I got a little bit because it's wet. I would wait till this dries or dry it. Okay, so I would just paint this entire background around these hearts, okay? I would just paint this whole thing, whatever color you would like, I would just use white. I would outline my hearts in black, which I'll finish this later, but I'll show you the other two pages I did, just so you can see them. But let me dry this so I can we'll open this. Close this up. away. All right. I'll finish. I'm going to finish this page later. But I want to show you the other ones I did. Just so you know. So this one I just did four different I did the opposite. And like I came out into the cool and I came out into the warm on this one. Just did my opposite. This one I just did a little bit. We came around. Just kind of mixed them in a little bit. And then this one I just did black and white. Okay, and then I painted my background white. Okay, these I didn't outline my hearts. But I think I'm going to go back and outline my hearts. I think I will. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Decide later. I kind of like them outlined. Oh, did I do my other ones? Let me look. Let's see. What did I do on my other ones? Oh, mercy, where did they go? Oh, oh, I outlined them, but I did them in different colors. So I did um, Monet, Picasso, Van Gogh. I want to say Miro. I might have to look that up. Sorry if I'm wrong. Um, I don't know. Can't remember. Anyway, I should probably know that, shouldn't I? But I don't remember. All right. So I did Van Gogh, Monet, Picasso. Choose how you want to do yours. A little bit of abstract on this side. Anyway, just be very colorful. Be creative. Do what you like. Remember, clean these out with warm water and soap and your brushes because they will not be any good if you don't. And then, I don't know what you'll do. Probably go buy new ones. I don't know. Okay, so. This is it for project 14. I'll see you on journal project 15.